What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're back at it on our 2010 E350 Mercedes. We are going to be changing today. Let me show you our parts over here, George. So we're gonna do a uh, transmission fluid drain and fill, which usually is about five or six quarts. We're gonna change the uh, transmission pan filter as well as the uh, pan gasket. And the pan gasket requires new bolts each time. These are torque to yield bolts. So you should get some new bolts with your uh, kit. And then also this is the, uh, the level uh, little plastic doohickey that controls the level. Let's see what they call it. Overflow plug. Transmission overflow plug to be exact. So uh, let me show you our setup here. What we've done is uh, jacked the car up. We're going to get a couple more jack stands over here for safety. Well, we got our two jack stands up front. And let me take you in. You want to make sure your pan is at the level. So we went ahead and used the level here to get our pan exactly level so we can get the right level of fluid. So go ahead and continue setting up and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we got the car level underneath here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is get a Torx on this side. What size this is. This is a T40. I'm gonna get you a T40. And this is the drain plug right here. Just get it, crack it open here. Oh, go tight, okay. Okay, so. I wanna get this pan over here ready. Usually this splashes a little bit, so. You get that out okay there we go so our fluid's not too bad uh it's still a little red i change this every forty thousand to keep it fresh so we're gonna let that slowly uh drip out and then i'm gonna show you guys another trick here get the screwdriver okay so what's happening now is the fluid level is at the top of that little uh, plastic piece I showed you guys. So in order to get the rest of the oil in, you gotta stick a screwdriver in it and dislodge that little plastic piece. There you go. So now we're gonna get all the So once, once that stops dripping, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, plug back in and then we're gonna go ahead and get our six uh, Torx bolts on the, on the, around the perimeter of this off. All right, that's good, Joe. Pause. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start taking off our uh, six Torx bolts here. Start off with the middle ones. So these have these little aluminum uh, holders. You wanna keep track. I think the middle ones are a little different. We have to take this brace, this bracket off here. Yeah, I think this bracket has to come off.
hooked up here. Does it make sense? Okay, yeah, we have to get a bigger Torx on this one top bolt here. See you in a sec. Okay, guys, so we got these two front uh, bolts left. You want to hold on to this so the fluid doesn't come out on you here. a little tricky Have some fluid in it and the gasket's a little stuck so you got to be careful Let's see if i could do this without making a big mess i guess probably not uh, the front is kind of stuck here so. Oh, shit. <laughs> That'll be good for you, too. Get back in. All right, guys, so we got the trans pan off. Uh, you want to take a rag and wipe up. Look if you have any kind of big metallic pieces. If you do, that means you have a problem happening with your transmission. A little bit of uh, metallic dust or a sludge is fine. And then you wanna check out these two magnets here. Their job is to pick up the extra little wear particles. You wanna wipe them off and get all the, all the metallic pieces off of them. Clean them up. These keep the uh, metallic pieces out of your fluid so it doesn't wear out your transmission as much because there is gonna be wear over time. So you wanna try to get those as clean as possible. You can even put a little brake clean if you want in here just to get it one final pass but i think we're good here it's pretty clean um you also want to install your transmission overflow plug so that just goes click right in here you want to catch this thing can you come over here i'm in okay so our transmission overflow plug you want to pop it right into here you're gonna hear it click so this is basically the level, the correct level, once the transmission fluid's at 40 degrees Celsius, you're going to let it drain through and whatever uh, stays on top is the correct level. So this is a pretty interesting, uh, neat way to measure the fluid. So this is our old gasket right here. I'm gonna slowly pull that off. Make sure you get it all in one piece. This is pretty strong, so these last, okay. And then, Get our new gasket here. And I'm press it, press it on. Oh, there's a couple little. Make sure you get it seated. And actually, there's a couple little divots that it'll go into right there to keep it. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. And then we just give it one final wipe down here. Okay, so you got a nice clean pan ready to go back. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, don't forget to put your magnets back. Uh, we've got two magnets towards the front here. 
And then this is our uh, filter. We want to get a little trans fluid and just lubricate this seal right here, this O-ring. And then we're going to go underneath and install this first and then put our six new bolts. Remember to use new bolts on this. And uh, I believe the torque on this, uh, I'm going to look it up. I think it's about uh, 15 pound feet. We're going to look it up. All right, guys, we're uh, back here with the uh, oil pan filter. We went ahead and put a little grease, a little transmission fluid on the O ring right here. So you just want to put it on here and just pop it in. Make sure you feel it a little pop in there. So it's flat there. Now we're going to get our pan. So we got our magnets in there. We got our uh, overflow. Overflow. Uh, right here. Sure your gasket's straight too. Cut, man, cut, cut. All right, guys. So we have our our new uh, bolts, all four new bolts on here. You have to tighten these to four newton meters first, all the way around. So let's start off in the middle. And it's not pound feet, it's Newton meters. So don't make that mistake. You gotta get a wrench. So there's four Newtons. Four Newtons. And after we get them all to four Newton meters, we're gonna do them 180 degrees. Okay. Okay, so let's start off with this one. 180 degrees. So we want to go. There's 180. Last two one eighties here. So recap four Newton meters for all of them and then tighten them 180 degrees and make sure you keep track of which ones you did so you don't tighten it twice. All right, so let's set up for our fluid transfer now. Okay. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and remove our uh, drain plug here and insert our AT106 tool here. I think I got this from FCP Euro, like 20 bucks. So this, go ahead, screw this in hand tight. And then James, you wanna hand me, wanna hand me that oh, tube? Sure. So this is our uh, pump here that we have. I'm just gonna attach it. All right, James, you want to press it? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And there goes our fluid transfer. So we're going to keep doing that until we get all our, all our about 
six to seven quarts in here. Then we're gonna turn the engine on and monitor the temperature until we hit 40 degrees Celsius. We can do that through the OBD2 port or we can even do a uh, 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 infrared thermometer, surface thermometer, we can do both and show you guys. So let's go ahead and let this go. I'm gonna go ahead and pump some more over there, James. You hold on to that, okay? 2,000 years later. Okay, guys, so we uh, started the vehicle and we have our iCar Soft scan tool. This is a great tool if you own a Mercedes. This is uh, specific for Mercedes MB. So it's got all the models. So we're gonna go through, ours is the uh, 212 chassis E350. We're gonna do a, a manual scan and we're gonna select the transmission module, TCM. And we're gonna look for module information. Uh, that's not the one. Let's go back. View data, view data. And uh, we're gonna look at temperature. Uh, where is that? Oil level check. There it is. Okay. So, oh, it says we're at 44 degrees already. Okay. All right, guys, uh, we have a correction. The actual temperature should be 45 Celsius. 45 Celsius is 113 Fahrenheit. That is the temperature you want to have it at when you check the fluid when you uh, uh, check the fluid level. So let's go underneath now. All right, guys. So we're at temperature. We're gonna go ahead and remove and let the oil drain until it's just barely coming out. You can even actually go ahead and take this off. So we're using the the tank that we got, or not the tank, but the bottle that we got to drain it back out. So you always put extra in and then the, the excess comes out. And then when it starts coming out really slow, we're gonna plug it, Here's that little plug. So we probably put in a couple quarts more. So now it's, oh shit. Okay, so as it's stopping, that's good enough. Go ahead and plug that up. All right, and don't forget to torque that down. And that's it. We'll just put back the cover underneath, check for leaks, and you're good to go for 40,000 miles. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, uh, hit the subscribe button, comment below. Thanks for watching.